the chief of staff disparaging members of the Senate for her own purposes, uh, you know, she's going to be around, I assume, for a little while. And we, you know, the chief of staff is normally a pretty important part to the discussions. Um, and if you don't have that trust, uh, if you don't have that ability to talk to each other, you know, I, I, I'll go back to Ed Rendell. Um, Steve Crawford, when I was in leadership, so I had more impact with Steve than I had uh, in some of the previous chief of staff, uh, he was sort of the perfect, calm, you know, he wasn't out front. That was sort of, I always said, that was Donna Cooper's job, to be out front, you know, hammering the points home and, and you know, and, and doing the bidding for the administration. And that's, and that's an important role. I'm not mocking her or, or suggesting she wasn't doing what she should be. That's her job. Uh, you know, the chief of staff sort of has to pull people together then at some point. You know, right. bring us all together, you know, let us sort of go out and be our crazy selves occasionally and then bring everyone in and, and sort of, you know, begin to position the final product. And we had to trust in Steve Crawford because Steve was, you know, someone we knew and and someone who never, you know, went out and sort of disparaged us just for the sake of politics. Just, um, you know, was professional and handled the way he handled things. Uh, and you know, I thought that was sort of the model. I mean, look, I mean, whether they like it or not, they got to deal with the Republican legislature. I mean, that's just that's just the way we are. We just like we have to deal with a Democratic governor. Uh, now to have a chief of staff sort of out there as the point person, and then going past policy to, I think, being dishonest uh, and disparaging members of the Senate for a vote that they made and an honest vote to try to correct a significant problem in Pennsylvania. You know, she didn't argue the policy. She attacked us. She, she, she attacked our character. Right. I mean, that's that's the bigger deal. I mean, she attacked the character of the members of the Senate Republican caucus. And I have a real problem with that. And so to then sit down with her in important meetings to get things done is a problem, and I, and I convey that to the governor. I said, I'll meet you anytime, anyplace. Um, you know, I prefer she's not there. Now, she's, she's been there, and I have to live with that because that's his choice, but um, it makes the process harder. If we're going to go down that road and and get into personal attacks, and then, then you know, and look, we're all guilty of it at times, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here in a, you know, a position that I've never done something I probably shouldn't have in the heat of the moment. Uh, having said that, and that was a calculated move that um, uh, I think was uncalled for and very unhelpful. So that's the difference in, in the two issues. So when you say it's a problem, I mean, how do you uh, how do you get past that? I mean, it's, oh, you, you're still you, right in the middle of it. Look, so I mean, the what's the actual manifestation of? It well, you do, you know, you just have to deal with it. I mean, we deal with the governor. We deal with Randy Albright. Um, John Hanger and, and do the best we can.